Hey, why did the chicken cross the road? I guess to get to the other side, I guess there's some truth to that. I think there's one, this cruise ship in today, right? Yeah, yeah, we have two. One just left, another just coming right now. Wow, and so it'll be a little crowded tonight. At, uh, they leave at 8. They leave exactly before yeah, sunset. So it'll be a ghost town again eight, after 8 o'clock. We'll, yeah. the we'll have the whole city to ourselves again. <laughs> this is it? Oh, wow. Hey, how are you? Doing well, thanks. Dude, that's him right there. Can you imagine what that's worth? Okay, baby. So, what's the story uh, on this room? Where are we? Does it, does it explain what it is? Is this just like uh, the living room? One of his actual typewriters, huh? Wow. That's gotta be priceless. I bet you they got that in short for a lot. Oh, that's him on his post. Hey, check out the kitchen. The, uh, I guess that's a refrigerator. He probably dropped the ice up in there. You know, keeps everything cool. Famous six toed cats. They almost look like stuffed animals. He was a sharp looking young guy, that's for sure. What are you reading about? It's hard to believe he actually lived in here. human like anyone else, but he's a famous human who's living here. It's just kind of weird. The walking tour, we didn't feel like going on. We're taking our own walking tour. We don't know what the hell we're looking at, but we're touring. Cemetery. 
Oh Wasn't that a movie? I don't know, I think that was Pet Cemetery. Those were all the cats, I guess, that lived on the property that died. Very here. They named them after famous people. Errol Flynn, Sophia Loren, Mark Twain. Then they also had Bubba and Roofer. Oh, uh, yes, this is a swimming pool. I go for a dip, baby. Pretty nice piece of property for Key West. It's so crowded, it's such a small island. To have a piece of land even this big is it's very impressive. I guess it's easy to do if you're in Ernest Hemingway. Those are the public toilets. Wait, hold on. He said, Look for Hemingway's infamous last penny embedded in the cement of the pool's patio because it says it cost him his last cent. So let's see, it should be around here in the floor somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's hard to make out, but you can see it, it's there. Okay, so I guess this is the writing studio we're gonna go check out now. Excuse me, thank you. Whoops. Watch that last step, it's a doozy. This is where he had that catwalk, where these trees are now. It went across there to the house. He would walk out of the house, over the catwalk, into the uh, writing studio. There's <laughs> one of the cats. And that guy is out of the light. This is where he wrote all those books right here. Isn't that incredible? This little studio. You had a view of the pool. He had a little restroom in there. Must have been sweating his ass off writing those books. I look a little like Hemingway, don't I? Just gotta let the beard grow out a little more. And the hair get a little grayer before it all falls out. What's that, baby? A little bridge to nowhere? Here's somebody lives next door. Yeah, can you imagine? Somebody lives there? Who's your next door neighbor? Ernest! Hello, Sleepy. Hey, Sleepy. You can count to six toes. That's Humphrey Bogart. That cat we just passed, his name is Humphrey Bogart. Wow, that's a beautiful cat down there. Look at that one. See the toes, baby? Look, come here, come here. Look at the toes. Doesn't it look weird? Look at those. Six toes he has. How oh, strange that is. Hey, he has six toes. Freaky yeah, anyway. We just got done with the uh, Hemingway tour. So we're here. At least we could say we were there. Wasn't all that, to be honest with you. But anyway, I'll let you guys be the judge. That was interesting. It was interesting. $28 interesting? I don't know, but it was interesting. Pink house. That wouldn't fly in my old neighborhood. You lived in a pink house in Brooklyn. You better walk outside with a helmet on. Whoa. Almost got hit by a bag of garbage. Whoa. Speaking of New York, why do these people, when the street is thin, like that, and they walk towards you, it's like they keep going and I gotta get out of the way. Always me. It's always gotta be me. Whoa! I don't know. What are you gonna do? You can't win. You can't win for losing. All right, here we are. This is where we were yesterday, yeah? Yeah, yeah this is where we were yesterday. This is Duval okay. Street. Do are you hungry yet? Oh, we could get a drink, I guess. The wife wants a tropical drink. We gotta make her happy. Like, something with a coconut. Oh, wow, look at that ceiling. Pretty interesting.
Somebody had to put all that up there. That wasn't an easy job. Talk about interior decorating. Oh, they got tapas. Beef Wellington, Florida lobster. Get a martini bar. Ooh, champagne. A little bit of the bubbly. So that's the world famous con train. $30 a person to go nowhere. Oh, thanks. We'll walk. Pit stop for a coconut. She's got to have her coconut fix. She goes through coconuts like I go through beers. Hey, coconut lady. How is it? Good. Here comes the trolley. And there it goes. A little bar there. This is nice. Grab a drink, baby. We got the whole place to ourselves. Just us and the fishes on the wall. What the hell? You guys seeing what I'm seeing? Is that Donald Trump? Yeah. They want tips. Donald Trump, Donald Trump wants a tip for his campaign. Fuck that. I ain't tipping Donald Trump. Let him tip me. He's got all the money. I start taking a video and he goes, hey, we survive on tips. I'm like, Donald Trump survives on tips? Only in Key West do you see Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un together on the street, dancing around, asking for tips. I forgot all about this place. World famous Sloppy Joe's. This is the bar that Hemingway used to come and, uh, and, and drink, and get drunk, and go home and write. Pier House Resort. Let's go check this out. Maybe we'll stay here next time. This is the lobby? Wow. How you guys doing? Can we just walk around and take a look at it? Like the pool area and that, can we look? I appreciate that. Thank you guys. Wow, it's friendly. Through here? Probably through here. Oh, you got a little music action going on here. Wow, she's good. This is one of the few sandy beaches that they have where you could actually walk down. This is really nice. That's lovely. You take your, take your drink into the water and just chill. They have that little lounging. So you got a beachside bar here. This is pretty nice, actually. It's a pretty expansive piece of property. Protected in there. So you don't have to worry about sharks because you get that protection. Nice view, though. Nice view those rooms have, huh? Up there, look at that. That's a view. See, they got, they got pigeons here, no chickens. No chickens, this is a chicken-free zone. Pigeons only, yeah. only pigeons allowed. Yeah. These damn chickens are everywhere. Get out of here, I'll make a McNugget out of you. Krabby Patty, anybody? man in the sea. Oh, no. It's President Truman.